Tijaj shoots himself after acquitting five Muslim men of murder. A Tijaj shot himself in the chest inside the court after delivering a verdict in a murder case. Kanakorn Pianchana, who had acquitted five Muslim men, was allegedly forced to change his verdict in the case to guilty. If I cannot keep my oath of office, I'd rather die than live without honor, a statement attributed to Pian Chana said. Iranian hackers targeted 2020 U.S. presidential candidate. Microsoft Microsoft has claimed that Iranian hackers linked to the Iran government targeted an unnamed 2020 U.S. presidential candidate. The threat group, called Phosphorus, made over 2,700 attempts to identify consumer email accounts belonging to specific Microsoft customers including the candidate among U.S. government officials, journalists and others. Four accounts were compromised, Microsoft revealed. Saudi allows foreign men women to share hotel without proving relation Saudi Arabia is allowing foreign men and women to rent hotel rooms together without proving they're related. This comes after the conservative Muslim kingdom launched a new tourist visa system to attract holiday makers. The move appears to pave the way for unmarried foreign visitors to stay together in Saudi, where sex outside of marriage is banned. Pakistan PM's open call for jihad against India not normal. Mia Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan's open call for jihad against India is not normal. Ravish Kumar, spokesperson for the Ministry of External Affairs, Mayor, said on Friday, Khan used provocative and irresponsible statements in the United Nations General Assembly. Unger, too. I think he doesn't know how to conduct international relationships, Kumar added.